what's up, guys? Uh, what are y'all doing here? What, what are you doing in my fridge? Uh, yeah, uh, welcome to today's video. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna react, so let's get right. Yo, 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 what is up? As y'all just saw, I don't know what y'all was doing in my fridge, but you know what? Let me properly introduce myself and properly introduce us to the video. Hello, my name is Unrecognized Reactions. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today, we're gonna be reacting to State of Mind by my homeboy Carlos the Alba, who goes by the name of Alex the Alba here. Production by Pario. All right. As y'all saw in my last video uh, that I reacted to my homeboy, it was called Doing Too Much, and he's growing as an artist. It gives me like old school Houston vibes when it comes to music, and this state of mind, he, he's been showing little snippets of it, and I'm actually very interested to see how he's doing, because the last song, he, he has more music on SoundCloud. I'll put the link in the description so y'all can go check that out, and uh, he's grown as an artist. Uh, I've known this guy since freshman year. Uh, so enough talk, let's just get right into it. State of Mind by Alex De Alba. There's a lot a little bit. Straight from the get go, <clears throat> Carlos, if you're watching this video, bro, keep doing you, bro. You're you're, you're climbing. I'm telling you, you're gonna be one of the biggest artists. I eat. and uh, I actually so far, this is these are like little bits of the snippet that he showed on Instagram. Uh, it's actually pretty. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the snippets. Right now, it sounds pretty good. Let's just keep going with the song. Um, I like the cover of it. It's, it's like the eyeball and the hair. And it's a state of mind. I like that. In this song, he's really playing with his voice, with his range. Uh, he's not going high, because like his voice in general is in a high-pitched voice, so it's, it's a pretty deep voice. And right now, I like what he's doing. He's working with, he's stretching out the words, and that's really helping him in the song. I feel like if he wouldn't have stretched them, the song would have been a little bit, it would have had some minor setbacks or difficulties in the song, but uh, right now, it looks like he's getting co more comfortable with the mic and the way his voice works and um it's working pretty good like the way he's just stretching the words it's working pretty good Okay, yeah, what he said there, I feel like I'm running in circles is something that I feel like everybody goes through within their love life. There's a time and place where we're just, we keep running around in circles and we just don't know. We keep repeating the same fucking, uh, what's it called? Um, we keep repeating the same actions that we've done, especially when it's like, okay, one time we'll be overthinking, right? And then the next time we'll be very happy with the relationship. But then again, a circle is 360 degrees. So we're going to keep going in circles and we're going to come back to the moment where we're overthinking. I think that's what he means. I don't know. But I feel like it is because like right now it's definitely, <clears throat> it gives me vibes of a love song. And uh, it, it, it's a, it's, I'm enjoying the song. There's something I would put on my playlist.
Alright guys, that was State of Mind by Alex De Alba or my friend Carlos. Carlos, you're growing man. This is a good song. It, it seems like, like I said, you're getting more comfortable with the studio and the mic and your voice. And it's actually pretty badass that you're actually like growing as an artist. Especially because like back then in your old music, it seemed like you would struggle a little bit with the way you would use your voice. But now, a year later, it's like if you're you've mastered your voice, you've control, you've taken control over your voice, and it's actually sounding very good on this type of beat. This type of music that you're making is actually pretty good. It's 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 fire. It's fire. The beat was good. Uh, shout out to Pario for the production and how he blended everything together. That's badass. Carlos, the vocals were amazing, were good. Uh, like I said, you're playing with your voice, and that's good. And that's great to see because you're actually doing a pretty good job with it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, it gives me Juice Road vibes mainly because the vibe of the song and how it is. It gives me hella Juice Road vibes, and um, it's something that. Like I said in the last song, and like there was a bit of Juice World little moments that give me okay, that's a Juice World kind of vibe. That's like this kind of vibe, and I see where this the inspiration for this song came from. It's a, it's a very good, very good inspiration by Juice. I mean, rest in peace, Juice. And uh, yeah, man, I gotta give it to you, Carlos. You're doing a great job. Keep doing what you do, bro. And uh, guys, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Make sure you turn on that bell, and I'll leave the link to his channel so you can go check out the song yourselves. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, and nice, nice little tea for y'all. I'm going to catch you guys later.